typically what we see in these buildings, though, is that HVAC and lighting are our two largest energy users. So when we look at where to concentrate our technologies, our uh, time, our attention, and where to, where to look at for energy savings, it's going to be in those, those types of categories. These other things are, are great to look at as well, but that's where you're going to get usually the most, uh, the most value. Now, another thing to look at by way of just level setting is looking at the electricity costs over time. This was something that was provided by the Department of Energy. And as you look at the cost of electricity, one of the, one of the reasons that we look at energy efficiency, some people look at it as it's kind of the right thing to do, but one of the, the major drivers is economics. Why? Because saving energy will save you money, and you can have more, more available capital for, for other types of projects. The interesting thing is when you look back at um, what was going on a number of years ago, 20 years ago even, 1990, we had, and for the next few years, we had fairly steady average electricity prices. But in the last 10 years, it's really started to climb. And the projection is, from the Energy Information Administration that our electricity prices are going to increase. So again, they're, they're projecting 2% annually, may end up that way, may not. Um, but as we think about, again, energy efficiency, another, another item to keep in mind is that our electricity costs are not going to go down, nor are they projected to stay fairly steady. It, it looks like they're going to be increasing. So in thinking about energy efficiency, it's a way to to help um, keep those costs down. If all things remained equal, if you operated your facility today the same way in 10 years and electricity kept increasing, if you still had that same energy consumption, you're going to see quite a jump in your electricity bill. So this is you know, another way to look at how to, how to think about energy consumption in your facilities. Now another thing that is, that is playing in the energy market is uh, benchmarking. There is a shift in the industry and in this country towards voluntary and mandatory um, benchmarking types of efforts. And you can see here in this graphic, those things that are striped in blue, the states that have blue stripes in them, those are states that are going towards state benchmarking types of programs at a mandatory level, either implemented or going to implement those types of things. Um, anything in blue is mandatory. In some cases, you'll see, for example, Austin, Texas, that has a mandatory program. The state of Texas does not, but Austin does. 